there are three different ways to create spring beans the first one is using java configurations and the second one is using the annotation and third one is xml configuration so what happens is whenever we start the application the application context creation takes place and during this application context creation the spring beans are also created it takes a pojo class and a metadata information processes that information to create the objects within the spring container this is an example of java configuration what happens is the pojo class as you can see here is class A and the metadata of this class is annotated with at the rate bean on a method and this method returns a new instance of this class. A note here is the method has to be written in a class and that class has to be annotated with at the rate configuration annotation. So using these two information, the spring container initializer creates an object of class A. For the XML configuration, the POJO class is fed as class C as you can see here and the metadata information is present in the XML configuration which has the tag of bean and the id is the class c this will be the id of the object created and the location of this class after processing it creates an object in the spring container but here in the annotation we do not have separate information for pojo and metadata both the information are present within the class itself here you can see the class e is the pojo class and the at the rate component annotation provides the metadata information for the processing once this is fed into the initializer it creates an object of class e now that we have seen the theoretical information of spring bean creation let us jump into some practical so here i have created a project the spring boot project without using any of the dependencies the spring bean of class a and class b are created using the java configurations so i have defined this class a and class b and this configuration the information about the configuration to create the beans for this is defined in the bean config class here you can see the annotation for this class is at the rate configuration this gives the information to the spring initializer saying that pick this class because there are some methods which create a new beans during the initialization similarly we have class c and class b for xml configuration so we have these pojo classes and the configuration is provided in bean-def.xml you can see here the bean id and the class information is provided for both class c and class d one thing to note here is whenever we have this bean configuration for xml we need to provide the information to the spring boot the location of the xml to do that what we have to do is the class which has this spring boot application annotation should also be annotated with import resource and this import resource will contain the path of the xml file from which the beans needs to be created and the third type class e and class f defines the bean creation using the annotation let's try to run this application and see run you can see here class e class f and the rest of the classes are created the information here you see is because i am printing the information in the constructors one observation we can make here is the annotation has more priority and followed by java configuration and then xml configuration officially i don't think there is any information about the order of creation of the beans in different ways but this is the order what i have observed by default for java config bean creation the name of the bean will be the name of the method for annotation base the name of the bean will be the name of class with the first letter as the small one the name of the bean for xml based will be the id what if i want to have more than one name for the same class for that we have a property let us see how we can give more than one name for the objects or the beans in xml there is a property called name and equals let me give this as cc comma class c and i'll have an application context get bean cc cc dot show let me run this one of the methods from class c is invoked and cc you can see this method 
we are just printing some information here what i have done is i'm trying to get the bean the name other than what it was given in the id if you have observed i have given here name equals cc comma cc we can access the bean of this class by giving a name either cc small cc or capital cc either way it will give the same object for us apart from this comma we can also have either semicolon to separate more than one names or a space for more than one namings for these classes let's see if this works i'll give cc run it still works so this is how we can have more than one name for the bean in xml so in the java configuration way what we can do is within this bean there is a property called name and this name is array of strings instead of having a single string we can have array of strings and each of those strings will be the names of the class for example a a comma a a and let me start and show you so the method of class a is called here now coming to the annotation based annotation based is a little tricky because we cannot give more than one name within this at the rate component annotation for that what we need to do is we have to create configuration in the bean configuration class here you can see i have already created that at the rate bean and within this bean name i have given it as ce and ce here instead of creating a new object and sending what i'm doing is i'm having an object of this class already created from the annotation and i'm just returning that object itself and to call that run there you go so this is how we can give more than one name for the beans in different ways Another property in bean creation is the scope. So by default, Spring creates all the beans with the scope of singleton. So let me show you. So this part of the code I have added will print the JSON information about beans that are present in the Spring application. Takes a context. If you see here, this is a striked class, which means it is deprecated and will be removed in the upcoming versions of the Spring Boot. This is because they have added similar kind of functionality in the Spring Boot actuator. I'm adding here this just to show you the default scope of the beans. Run. You can see here there are several beans internally created for Spring application. Our beans are here. You can see the bean ID is AA and another alias is A for this. And the scope is singleton, be it class B, class E, whatever. All of the beans which we have created, including the beans which the Spring creates, will be singleton by default. And we can change the scope of each of these beans in the application as we want. Let us see how to do. But before I'll just remove this. For the scope, I'll use class b class d and class f for each of the ways first let's see for the class b here and this is the java configuration what i can do here is at the rate scope and define the scope as prototype so prototype scope will create multiple beans every time you call an instance of them and for the annotation at the rate scope this scope is also prototype for the xml scope prototype i'll remove this part of the code run the application here you can see the beans for class a c and e are created because these are the singleton beans and whenever the application starts only the beans of singleton are created and not the beans that are defined as prototype the prototype beans will be created only when we try to access the instance of those beans for example so these beans are prototype you have seen that only the singleton beans are being initialized let me now run because i'm trying to access those beans let's see what happens run here you go you can see because i am trying to access the beans it is creating the bean for class b class d and class f which are the prototype beans let me also show you creation of more than one object b1 here you go you can see 
the prototype beans are created but the singleton bean is not created but instead it returns the bean which was created during the initialization all right that's it from this video thanks for watching